What is energy? In a way, energy is everything, because everything in the universe is worth a certain amount of energy. On the other hand, energy is nothing, because it's not a thing. It's only a property that things can have. To understand what energy is, we must first explore the many ways in which things can be said to have energy. Meet the EGs, a cartoon family that has been created for one purpose only, to help you make sense of energy. The family has a saying, we are conserved. Indeed, the total amount of energy in the universe always stays the same. When one member of the family becomes bigger, another one must become smaller. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can only be transformed between one form, one member of the family, and another. Before we give some examples of these transformations, let's meet some of the Gs. We'll start with the energy of motion, kinetic energy. Let's have some fun and give it a cartoon name, Kinegy. Next, let's meet gravitational energy, cartoon name Gravigy, the energy that something has because of gravity. The further something is from the center of the Earth, the bigger Gravigy is. Gravigy and Kinegy like to play a game. Consider an apple in a tree. It has some gravitational energy because of its height. If it detaches, it falls faster and faster. Gravitational energy becomes smaller, while kinetic energy becomes bigger. When the apple reaches the ground, it stops. Kinetic energy completely disappears. Wait a minute, energy cannot just disappear. What's going on? Meet thermal energy, thermogy, energy related to temperature. With a camera that is sensitive to infrared light emitted by warm objects, you can detect that the ground beneath the apple is now a little warmer than before. That's thermal energy. Also, the apple made noise as it hit the ground. That's sound energy. The energy of the apple just before it hit the ground has not disappeared. It has transformed into thermal energy and sound energy. We, we are concerned. concerned! Let's meet some more Gs. There's radiant energy, the energy of light. Chemical energy, that depends on the way the atoms that make an object are linked together. And nuclear energy, related to what happens in the nucleus at the center of each atom. In the center of the sun, nuclei combine to become bigger nuclei. In this process, nuclear energy becomes smaller and thermal energy becomes bigger, which is why the sun is so hot. Light is also produced, radiant energy. This light makes its way to the sun's surface and escapes into space. Some of it reaches our planet and is absorbed and processed by plants. Radiant energy is transformed into chemical energy. Animals eat plants, we eat animals and plants, and this chemical energy finds its way into our bodies. There, it can be transformed into thermal energy, which maintains our body's normal temperature, and into kinetic energy when we move and make other objects move. Eventually, because of friction and collisions, kinetic energy almost always ends up as thermal energy in the environment and is eventually emitted into space as radiant energy, infrared light. That's quite a journey from nuclear energy in the center of the sun to radiant energy in the infrared glow of the Earth. We are concerned! To complete our survey of the EGs, there's electrical energy, magnetic energy, elastic energy when a spring or a rubber ball is compressed or stretched, and last but not least, mass energy, the energy that an object is worth simply because it has some mass. That makes 11 EGs. So we now know what forms energy can take, but we've not yet answered the question, what is energy? What is it that the members of the EGs have in common so that they are all called energy? It's simply the fact that they form a conserved family, that they can transform into each other, and that the total amount of energy always stays the same. Physicists have ways to assign precise numbers to each energy in a particular situation. And, no matter what happens, when you add all the numbers together, you always get the same total. We are concerned! Yes, we know. By the way, have we met all the Gs yet? Did we catch them all? Not quite. A few years ago, we discovered a new energy, dark energy. A mysterious property of space itself that makes it expand faster and faster. Astrophysicists believe that over the next few billion years, dark energy is gonna take over and control the ultimate destiny of the universe. But this is a story for another time. Stay tuned, the EGs may still surprise us in the future.